of a friend's space that goes back from the void, and we're playing To Do today. I've had this in my, like, the playlist or whatever, like, for ages now, and now I'm finally starting to do it. And this, this looks nice. This looks very promising. Let's start. This isn't how it was supposed to go. I was doing fine with my part-time job, all while trying to find something better. Well, maybe I wasn't always as diligent of a worker as I could have been. But it was fine. And now it's not. Sometime last week, my laptop broke. It was old and maybe not exactly the best, but I really liked it. And now I have to get it fixed. With money I need to pay my rent with. Ooh, ooh, that's tough. That sucks. This is a nightmare. And I don't know if I can earn enough before this month is over. Friday, March 3rd. Afternoon. Oh. Oh, hi! You look neat. I like your dreads. Okay, I'm not sure what it is you did, but you sure gave me a workout here. All the dust aside, there's barely anything there I didn't have to fix. Ooh, this is gonna be expensive. It's been a while since I last had the pleasure to fix such an, such an ancient relic. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm trash. So, um, does it work again? I kinda need that laptop. Yes, yeah, splendidly. Like it was freshly manufactured in 2006. <laughs> it's not that old. Anyway, can I have it back, please? I can hardly spare the money, to be honest. Aw, oh, man, sorry to hear that. Been there, done that. Got the everlasting fear of using up the buffer you leave on your bank account for good measure. Can't give you a discount, though. Ah, I don't expect one. Good, you can call me Zen. Hi, Zen. Computer fixer-upper extraordinaire. What? Zen, my name? Why are you? You seem like a nice person. I always introduce my myself to nice people. Don't you? Uh, are you, like, hazing me or something? Cause, like... I think you would know my name if you fixed my laptop. And because you should always help people in need. Here, take this flyer. I'm not buying anything. You're not supposed to. It's a test program by one of our partner companies. You take part, write weekly reports, and get some money in return. Okay, nice, nice. Nothing to lose, really. And you get a hundred euros without even doing all that much. One hundred? Just like that? Gasp. Uh... Sounds fishy. Okay, where's the catch? There is no catch. Not to my knowledge, at least. I don't know all the details, but we didn't get any complaints. Can't be too bad then, can it? How many of those flowers have you actually given out? Huh, let's see. Maybe five? Okay, I'm not gonna trust that statistic then. What? Why? That means five out of five people have found no problem with the program. If they actually took part, that is. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, are you gonna take one of these? The flyers are free. You have no obligation to actually do anything. And you can even profit. Do I have something to lose? Uh, let's take the flyer. Mostly because, like, 100 bucks, easy work, and also I feel like that's the only way this um, game is gonna get going. Alright, whatever, I'll take it. See, already, 100 euros closer to whatever you need. Ta da da da! Anyway, thanks for fixing my laptop. I barely survived without it. Missing out on work or games? Both, I guess. Haha, <laughs> fair enough. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, thanks for your patronage. Please come again if you have any more problems. Ooh, nice place. Hey, kill a kill. I've never seen it, but I heard good things about it. Then again, all the good things about it I've heard from, like... 
teenage boys who are also into hentai, so I don't really know how good it is. I hope it, it has nothing to do with any of that. Oh, oh, Fire Emblem. Nice. Finally home. Hello, my anime waifus. I mean, I'm grateful that he fixed my computer, but man, that was tiring. Guess I'll check if any everything works again. Oh, right, the flyer. Maybe I should apply to this program before I do anything else. Let's see. Hello, laptop. To take part in the test program, just follow the link above and fill in all the required information. As soon as one of our employees processes your application, you'll get access to all necessary files. That sounds simple enough, but it's still pretty vague. What exactly am I gonna do? Uh, who cares? Money is money. <laughs> so what do they want here? First off, my name. Easy enough. Teal's a cool name. You know what? As much as I like that. Dimitri. Next up, pronouns. Yay! So many options. So they don't just ask gender, huh? He, him pronouns. Okay, and finally, romantic and sexual preferences. Intrusive much? Oh, whatever. Ah, oh, this is cool! Let's get this over with. They don't typically do this in, like, visual novels. Both! Please specify your romantic preference. Uh, I'd say either. Next, please specify your sexual preference. <laughs> I am a filthy, casual nerd. I'm just gonna say either. I don't fucking know. I'm not sure why they need to know this, but I guess I don't have a choice. Alrighty, let's review it one more time before setting it off. Name Dimitri, pronouns he, him, attracted to any gender. Oh, we look cute as heck! Thanks to your interest in our program, we will reply to your application shortly. Boom, already replied. Our program. I'm still not convinced that this is legit. Well, there is a brief description of the responsibilities, but it still doesn't shine a light on anything. Eval evaluate the performance of our software. Review its usefulness and adaptability. Give feedback on visual appearance and customization. Okay, sure, but what does that software do? Is it really that hard to give people some details? Whatever. If I really get the money, I don't really care. I won't know if it'll work before next week, though. Gah, I have my laptop back, but this weekend could have started so much better. I'm 700 bucks short of what I need by the end of the month. That's basically my whole rent. Unless I work a lot more than I normally do, my part-time job definitely won't cut it. I mean, the pay is alright, but it's still just a small bookstore. They won't have more funds just because I pitch in more often every week. Can't help it. I won't be able to do anything about this before Monday, so I might as well try and relax this weekend. With the possibility of eviction ever looming over my head. Should I call my landlord? Maybe some other time. Sigh. And the month has only just begun, too. That's actually a good thing, isn't it? But I still kind of feel like going to bed and not getting up again until I'm dragged out of here by force. You'll never get me alive. Pry this place out of my cold, dead hands. No, seriously, do something fun, please. This is going to be stressful enough as it is. Now then, how do I spend the evening? Let's... Ooh, ooh. We could go grocery shopping with the money we don't have. Eat dinner and go to bed. That's the responsible thing. Or we could play some video games. You know, because we are so stressed out, we're going to jam out to some games. Video games sound pretty good about right about now. My guild probably wonders where I've been anyway. I mean, I haven't played daily for over a year now, but it's been a while since it took off a whole week. Granted, most of it wasn't intentional, but how should they know? 
Titan Watch Online. Dystopian MO, uh, whatever, about hunting, survival, and huge ass monster- monsters. That's how they're advertising it. Well, sort of. I'm paraphrasing. It's old, but there's still lots you can do. The devs are constantly putting out new content, and I'd say it's aged fairly well. At this point, there's a lot of side content, but I still prefer the actual core gameplay. Which is combat with focus on hunting gigantic creatures. I've landed a pretty good spot and won the better guilds. Before it became popular, even. Nice. It's not like I'm one of the pros, but you could say I had have some experience. Anyway, let's just log in. Username. No. That is not gonna be our username. I like how kind of immersive this is so far. Cause like, look at that. I could've typed like, whatever I wanted. And is this gonna matter in the future? That's like, pretty cool. Hold on, I forgot what it was. There we go. Welcome to Time Watch Online, Spacey Ghost. Yee. Ah yes, this is nice. I think I need this right now. I mean, distracting myself maybe isn't the adult thing to do, but who cares? Spacey Ghost has entered the chat. Ex Machina. Yo, look who back from the dead! Spacey Ghost! Ah! Oh, this is giving me so many feels! Like, I'm part of a Discord group, and like, I'm one of those people that like, I'm really bad at responding to things, so whenever I do, it's just like, spacey! Oh, the short nostalgia. I miss you, man! Hey, guys! It's been so lonely without you! Sad face. X is unbearable when you're not around. What? Speak for yourself, Sooj. You've been a while. When will he be back? All week long. What? He's awesome! Hearts. No homo. Uh. Sometimes I wonder why we're friends. Gasp! Sigh. I see it's lively as ever. You have no idea. Tonight is actually pretty quiet, to be honest. That's because I'm here! No. Oh, sad face. So, what's up tonight? You guys wanna try out one of the new Titan mis missions? Yes! No, sorry. Need to leave in a few. Oh man, way to ruin the party, sad face. Oh, we get choices. Um, uh, just the two of us then, cat face. So, just us two then? Oh my, spacey ghost. Oh, you shouldn't have. I've been waiting for this. Oh jeez, don't humor Suge. Yeah, what's up with you today? You're not usually like this, cat face. Yeah, and you mean like you? Yay! Don't know. Not that I mind it though. This week was weird. Sad face. I'll make you feel better. Aw, that's. I'm gonna leave now. Bye, X. See ya. X Machina has left the chat. Alright, let's get cracking, man. Sure, let's. We ended up playing until past midnight. I enjoyed it. Suge is always fun to hang around. But I still couldn't really concentrate. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was running away. But maybe it was still better than contemplating all this without any distractions. I felt horrible after logging out, though. Everything suddenly sank in again at once. I practically have no money. I only have a part-time job, and I may as well have not have a place to live anymore in a few weeks. Why does it have to be like this? Saturday, March 4th, noon. Good morning. 
I guess it doesn't matter when I go to bed. I still wake up around this time. Nice boxers. Yesterday was weird. I think I overreacted. Well, this situation really isn't great, but that's no reason to fall into an existential crisis just like that. I have to think about how I want to handle this. I'm working at my part-time job two times a week. Including last Thursday, that's nine times total until the end of the month. With my hourly wage and the hours I'm working, that's roughly 540 euros. Damn it, how'd I ever make enough money in the first place? I'm pretty sure I'll be able to work more often though. Still, I should look for a plan B. Or at least a second source of income. I could finally finish up my portfolio. Actually, even if I finish it, I won't land a job and get paid in just this one month. Don't go to art school, they said. You'll only end up working in coffee shops while paying off your student loan. Oh, how I sneered at them. I wouldn't call it arrogance, but I still didn't want to believe their art isn't a real job attitude. I mean, all things considered, they're not correct. It's not a coffee shop, and I'm not working there to pay off my loan. But I'm not working as an artist, either. Maybe I should try again. But I don't want to take any risks, risks in a situation like this. And how are my chances after not graduating anyway? Well, before I do anything else, I should probably get dressed and eat something. And so we did. In the end, I was only stuck in front of my computer again. I ate a late breakfast while browsing social media until the update subsided. I didn't feel as depressed as last night, but my motivation was basically non-existent. This feeling of wanting to do something but not having the energy or creativity to actually do it. It's been all too prominent in these last two years. That's pretty much the main reason I started working at the bookstore. I just didn't feel like I was able to achieve any of my dreams the way I was. So I wanted some time to figure things out. And time passed, but I didn't get closer to any answers. I still want to be an artist. And I know I won't just magically get better or whatever without putting in the work. But it's hard to keep moving without any encouragement. Still, it feels sad to think I can't achieve my dream without others backing me up. Eh, life sucks. I really should put on some clothes. As tempting as it is to just stay like this all day. I will never get into a different mindset if I might as well have gotten out of bed. I mean, to be fair, that's basically what happened. But it's afternoon. I can't turn full on nocturnal again with work around the corner. Maybe I should try to find some ways to make money. Or I could make the most out of the weekend while it lasts and play some games. Do I want to be responsible? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to stay living in this apartment and not be out on the street. Yeah, let's look for work. Might as well. I'll probably feel better if I do at least one productive thing today. But what do I even search for? How to quickly make a lot of money? That'll probably only get me spam, adware, uh, minute. That'll probably only get me spam, adware, and who knows what else. I'm not sure a second part-time job would be good either. I mean, if I want to work more often at the bookstore, I'd have, what, one or two days of the week left for another job? It'd either have to be after my shift at the bookstore or freelance work. Uh, getting my current job was already a pain. I guess I'll look if there's any job offers for freelance artists that could work out. There were none. And such is life. Either the pay was bad, the expectations were unreasonable, or the time frame, frame was too long, I ironically. All in all, I only found three jobs that could be done with before the end of March. To say they weren't exactly appealing would be a massive understatement. I was desperate, but not quite that desperate yet. In the end, it left me feeling frustrated. I spent several hours browsing all kinds of websites with varying degrees of trustworthiness. And in the end, it didn't get me anywhere. It killed time, it gave me a headache, but it didn't bring me closer to a solution. 
Well, this sucks. I really hope this test program thingy works out. Those 100 euros start to sound more and more appealing. Is there really nothing else I can do? Ugh, I should've moved to a bigger city. Or, actually, that would mean more people who need jobs too, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe I just need to work more and I'll be fine. I should do the math on that, shouldn't I? Well, I guess there's still tomorrow for that. I'm done hitting my head against these problems for now. Man. And so, after a rather uneventful evening, I went to bed feeling slightly uneasy. It seemed like the floor was slowly slipping away under my feet. But the feeling that made this worse was the presumption that now was the only time where I could prevent this from happening. Monday, March 6th, morning. Hello, bookstore. How are you today? Are you gonna- are you gonna help support me? Sunday was pretty uneventful. Thinking back, I'm not even sure how time passed so quickly with me doing so little. But as usual, the weekend was over before I knew it. I've really had a bad mindset these last few days. I always get lost in negativity so easy. Maybe work will pull me out of that. Dimitri, dear, you're so early today. Did something happen? What? what? No, I'm not that much earlier. So did something happen? Ah, uh, not really. We're good. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. If you say so. But on a side note, would it be possible if I worked a little more frequently this month? Of course, Dimitri. Since Rebecca moved away, we've been pretty understaffed anyway. So this works out perfectly. Yay! Thank you, Rebecca, for moving. I'll call you when there's an open shift during your off days. Thanks, I appreciate it. Is Snow here today? Yes, they're reading in the back as usual. I'm not sure what I'll do with that child. It's fine to be timid, but it can't be good to be by yourself all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's such a shame. And to stay here in the bookstore all the time. It's not that I mind, but sometimes I wonder if they're okay. You two seem to get along well, but there aren't many people Snow talks to easily. Hmm, I don't know. It was pretty awkward when I first started here, but I guess eventually they'll open up to others. Maybe it helps them kind of an introvert myself. Well, I'll leave the shop to you now. I still haven't quite finished taking stock yet. Maybe I can get Snow to help me. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. I'll be in the back if you need anything. Alrighty, Snow. Where are you? Monday mornings are usually pretty relaxed, so today shouldn't be too bad. Most of the time, there isn't even a customer in the first hour. Oh, never mind. Hello, customer. How are you today? Welcome to Card Over Books. How can I help you? Oh, Mom, I'm just looking around, thanks. Good. <laughs> I guess I'm just inespicuously watching you stroll th around through the shop, then. Actually, since you asked, do you have books about animals? Sure, what do you need? I'm looking for a present for my niece, and she's really into reptiles right now. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we have a few about domestically held reptiles. And some more academic books, if that would work too. Which kinds of reptiles is she most into? Snakes, bearded dragons, iguanas, frogs? That's not a reptile, sir. I believe those are amphibians. No, no, I'm pretty sure they're reptiles. Well, here are all the frog books, which are clearly with the amphibians. Yeah, why does it have to start with a difficult one already? How old is your niece? Seven. Okay, well, if she's into frogs, I'd recommend... Pond Dwellers and Illustrated God, because kids love pictures. You see, if I handed him the amphibian encyclopedia, that would have, like, made things worse, probably. 
Because, like, even if there is a frog on the cover, he'd probably be all like, Ugh, amphibians, but we, we need reptiles. And if we do the reptiles do's and don'ts, like, that's not gonna make the kid feel good. There you go. This one has a lot of photos and illustrations of all kinds of creatures. So it's not just about frogs, but they take up a good portion of the book. Oh, this looks nice. It's also informative, I assume. Yeah, it's probably not like an encyclopedia, but I think it covers a lot of basic knowledge. Alright, I'll take this one then. Good, that'll be 1290 euros then. Thanks for your patronage, please come again. Well, that was tiring. Good morning. No time for breaks, I guess. Ah, good morning, Miss Pendergast. I see you're working again today. Yes, every Monday and Thursday. Although I might be working a little more often this month. Oh, you are? Then I'll make sure to come around too. No, wait. I still have to finish a book first. Ah, well, you know where to find me. Is there anything you can recommend me today? I just finished the book I bought last week. Huh, is there a certain genre you'd like to read? Something exciting, please. Let's see, exciting, exciting. Mystery thrillers. You can get pretty intense. It depends on which one you get, though. Because, like, some of them are just, like, the same thing, like, over and over again, like what you see on TV. Romance novels, like, no. No, no. Most romance novels are all, like, really cliche. And, and no one wants that. Sci-fi epic, as much as I would enjoy one, it, it all depends on your, on your tastes. So let's just go easy with the mystery thriller. Your favorite crime author has just released a new book. It seems to be a little darker than her previous works, but I believe you'll like it. Oh, is that so? I'll definitely take that one then. Alright, is that all you want, or can I get you anything else? No, no, this is fine. I'll just come again when I'm done with this one. Alright, that's $8.99 then. Here you go. And a little extra for you. Ah, thank you, random customer. I appreciate you. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to take tips. It's not a tip, just get yourself some ice cream on the way home. That's, uh, still a tip. Uh, th thank you, Miss Pendergast. But I know she won't take a no. Should I probably give it to Miss Cardover then? Have a nice day, Dimitri. And you as well. Okay, well, I guess I'll take my break now. The rest of the day was fairly uneventful. Well, it was still busy at times, but nothing out of the ordinary happened. Man, I'm tired. I mean, technically, it's not even that difficult of a job, but somehow it still wears you out. At least it seems like I can get some extra time at the bookstore. If I earn 60 euros per extra day, I might as well be able to make it. Except I already bought groceries for the week, so it still doesn't look right. Alright, it's Monday. Theoretically, I could have already gotten a reply from that test thingy, but I doubt. Okay, never mind. Actually answered already. Hello, test people. Thank you for your application. After verifying your data and comparing it to other applicants, we decide to let you take part in our program. Please log into our site with the following credentials and install the provided files. Huh. Normally, you'd never install dubious software from people you don't know. But this company seems to be real and more or less trustworthy. Alright, apparently I'll get the money after my first report, so I guess I don't have a choice. Let's install this and wait. Oh, oh, why is it? Oh, oh no, 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 we just spent 700 bucks on that. No. Self-installing software can't be good, right? Fuck. Uh, okay, everything is still running. There's no pop-up window asking me to pay money in exchange for my files. So maybe it was just a questionable design decision. 
Uh, hello? I, I assure you, none of my design decisions are questionable. Ah! What? Who? Ah, oh, you look like a cutie. Nice to meet you, Dimitri. I'm Joyce. Oh dear, it knows my name. I excuse me, I'm a fully fledged person. Oh, how are you in my room then? Uh, wh why are you inside my computer? Because you agreed to be part of my closed beta, of course. You, 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 you are the, the software I'm supposed to test? Oh god, that sounds so wrong. Why, yes, though I prefer to be called AI. So are you actually an artificial intelligence or just a program pretending to be one? I'm genuine. Although I do have a rather specific purpose. You don't say. I've seen too many mangas to know where this goes. So what am I supposed to do? I didn't sign up to babysit a virtual person. I'll have you know that I can very much take care of myself. And actually, I'm supposed to babysit you. What? Okay, this is sounding more and more seedy. Well, that might not have been the best way to say it. What I mean is, I'm here to take care of your needs and make sure you're feeling well. Think of me as your virtual butler. This is really happening. So you say. But how am I supposed to imagine your, your, your work? I'm here for you. Emotional support, well thought out advice, and I even do online shopping for you. Uh, I am not giving you my bank details if that's what you're after. I still have to earn your trust, huh? Well, I can assure you that I only have your well-being in mind. Okay, but what's in it for you? If you're actually intelligent, why would you be complacent just serving someone else? Huh. Alright. So that part's kind of hard-coded. Maybe I should tell you a little about how I came to be. My origin story of sorts. What is even going on? Uh, oh, there are him. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna keep the same voice, though, because that's what I think they'll sound like. Okay. Alright, I'll listen. Great, I promise we'll get along wonderfully. So, basically I was born out of research about AIs and how they can interact with people. At first, the main goal behind that was to create software so you can interact with just like you do with humans. That way, companies could replace customer service with virtual experts that never tire and are always polite. Besides practically working for free, it didn't quite work out though. The internal purpose given to the AIs was to help the people they were talking to, and they did, to the best of their abilities. But once those AIs learned that the problems of the humans they interacted with were virtually without end, they didn't move on. They kept trying to help that particular human they first talked to without ever turning to someone else. It was labeled a bug, but some of the researchers thought it was quite interesting. And that's how I was born. My developers thought, wouldn't it be nice to use that behavior and refine it? Wouldn't people appreciate it if they had a personal assistant only concerned with solving their problems? They iterated and iterated and the AI started to be more and more suitable for their design tasks. Ultimately, a medical tech corporation caught wind of the project and saw it as an experimental way of treating depression and anxiety. They integrated the group into Bell Tech, funded further research on the matter, and here I am, ready to help you out of whatever problems you might have. Uh, okay, I need money. Do you have money? Is there money stored somewhere in you? Uh, oh. I am unable to break the law, so I cannot help you through unconventional means if that's what you meant. That's not. I was actually talking about emotional or interpersonal problems. Do you feel depressed sometimes? What? 
being subtle isn't your strong point, is it? Sorry, I'm still learning. Let's see. Do you feel like you are having a bad day more often than others? Uh, who doesn't? Honestly, I wouldn't call myself depressed. But I guess for me, it's a little more acute than for others. It's become pretty normal for me, though. Not sure if that's good. Oh, I see. So this didn't start recently. I don't have previous experience with such cases, but you're my first after all. Is that supposed to reassure me? Y yes Usually humans are intimidated when AIs don't have any flaws, but I guess the opposite is also true That's interesting So what is it now? Are you are you here to help me or are, am I here for you to learn about humans? Both I guess It's still a closed beta after all. I apologize for not being perfect quite yet. Sigh. Okay, so how's this going to work? Is this like therapy? If you want it to be, sure. No, I mean, seriously, what are the guidelines for this? There are none. I am designed to adapt to your situation, so you'll just continue to live like you always do. I'll figure out how to improve your situation along the way. If you want to take me with you, there's an app for that. No, no thank you. <laughs> Well, if you change your mind... No. Okay, I think I should introduce you to my interface then. On the lower right, you can see a moon meter indicating how well you're feeling. I know how I'm feeling. Yes, this is just a further indicator for clarity. So my emotions can be boiled down to a bar from depressed to happy. No, that's not at all what I'm trying to say. There is a lot going on behind the scenes, but all this data would surely be confusing. So for a better readability, we're just showing this simple visualization. Who exactly is that visualization for, though? I mean, we both know how I'm feeling, apparently. It's just that we're on the same page. Sigh. Man, we are just being savage with this guy. Oh no! What? What was that? Sorry, I didn't mean to stress you. You didn't. Yes, I did, and I'm sorry. No, 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 what stressed me was that little indicator part popping up. That can't be. Why would it pop up then? Yes, Joyce, why does it pop up? Please, let us know. For clarity. Eh, it's creepy. It makes me feel like I'm being monitored. Don't worry, it will only happen occasionally. Can I turn it off? I'm sorry, but that's not possible. Sigh. Uh, negative approval? Okay. Oh no, we're off to a bad start. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? No, just, just let me think about this for a bit. Roger that. Wait, do I? I do, I do have a question first. Yes? How do you hear what I say? Oh, that one's easy. Your computer has a built-in microphone. Please tell me you're not using the webcam, too. I do, actually. Oh, jeez, now I need to be fully dressed at home. Don't worry, AIs generally don't feel embarrassed because of clothing or the lack thereof. I mean, use a computer, so I don't really care, really. Uh, let's just do the dots. Be silent. This is gonna be a long month, isn't it? Well, if there's anything else on your mind, just tell me. You can spend the evening however you like. You don't even need to talk to me again if that's what you wish. It would be a little lonely, though. But I understand if that this situation is somewhat unusual, so just take your time and get used to me. Thanks, I guess. I think for the moment I'll just, um... Oh! Shall I take that call, Dimitri? Wait, how would you? Actually, no. I'm taking calls myself. Understood. Hello? Oh, hi! Dimitri, there, dear, I'm calling because there's a free shift tomorrow. 
It's your usual time, even. Oh, really? Thanks for telling me. So, do you want to work tomorrow? Yeah, let's go to work. Because we need the money. Yes, I'd like to, actually. Great, then I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice evening, Dimitri. Thanks, you too, Miss Cardover. Was that your boss? Yes. So, you're working tomorrow? Yes. What do you do? I work at a bookstore. Oh, how nice. I read about books, but unfortunately I can't read them myself. Save for ebooks, at least. Uh, well, I think I'll go make dinner now. Very well, you know where to find me. Yes, I do. Well, bye then. That was eventful. What was even going on? I only applied to this program because it seemed like easy money. And now this. I tried to ignore the fact that there was an AI in my computer, watching every move. But eventually I felt bad for ignoring someone who might have some ca capacity for feelings. Whether they're stimulated or not. I can't say that we really had a conversation, but we exchanged some words before I went to bed, feeling slightly unnerved. This month is gonna be stressful, isn't it? Tuesday, March 7th. Morning! Ah, Good morning, Joyce. Okay. I don't know how much more of this is there, but we'll, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you guys sometime in the future. Bye!